What's up guys? It's Soccer Stars Legend here back with another video. And today I'm going to show you how on this deal I got the legendary team and I want to show you all my upgrades and a few games as well. And at the end of this video I'm going to give you guys a very helpful tip so stay tuned for that. Now a good tip for upgrading your team really fast is to only play in the trickshot arena while you're upgrading because each match in the trickshot arena you can get five goals or more and that will make this whole upgrading process go by very quickly and as you can see once it's fully upgraded it has plus four force which is the highest in the whole game even more than the deluxe team I just forced the ball into the opponent's goal by making sure the pressure was just right And on this second goal, I hit it in the corner just right to make it hit his player and won the match 3-2. Now this player in USA was taking forever. He was playing last second the whole match and it was getting me frustrated. But what happened here is really funny because as you can see, he ran out of time. And I got this open shot to score and I was so happy. So I scored that goal and won the match. That's what he gets for playing slow. In this game, I forced the ball into the corner with a bunch of players in the way. And he didn't think I could score a goal from there, so he tried to break up my defense. But I knew this trick that I learned from watching games on rail. It's where you hit the opponent and your player and it forces the ball to go into the goal if there's another player there. So after I scored that goal, I scored this second easy goal and he just quit. So I win the match 2-0. Now right now I want to give you guys a good tip that will help you in these higher level matches like in Italy and above. So right here in this situation, I have basically two easy options to score. I could shoot the ball this way or this way. Now you might think it doesn't matter which way I shoot the ball, but it actually does. And that's because I'd have to consider what would happen if I missed my shot. Now if I were to shoot the ball this way and I miss my shot, I know the ball would probably land somewhere in this area. And from right there, that would give my opponent a very easy shot into my goal because there's no players blocking this side of my goal. Now if I were to shoot the ball this way and miss the shot, the ball would land somewhere in this area. And from there, it'd be really difficult for the opponent to score. He'd have to score some kind of pro legend goal into that tiny space on my goal. So that'd be much more difficult for him. Now, when I'm playing in these matches, I'm just thinking, if I miss my shot, do I want the opponent to have this kind of shot? Or would I want him to have this kind of shot if I miss? And of course, I want my opponent to have the hardest shot. So I went ahead and shot the ball this way. And good thing I scored anyways. But that's still a good tip to remember. Always think about what would happen if you missed your shot. Alrighty guys, I hope you liked this video. I'll catch you next time. Peace.